Hello, and welcome to my Ever Declining Insanity. I'm going to be doing a fast recap of My Hero Academia Season 1. Obviously, it's a recap, so there will be spoilers. I'm going to be reading off a thingy. If that bothers you, I, oh well. On my mark, I said, read real fast. The main character of My Hero Academia is Izuku Midoriya. He is born into a world where people have powers known as quirks. 80% of the world's population is born with a quirk. Midoriya is from a fourth generation quirk family, but he is quirkless, meaning powerless. He's devastated over this as he is obsessed with becoming a hero and he idolizes the symbol of peace, the number one hero, All Might. He grew up and went to school with a neighboring kid, Bakugo, who he calls Kachan, all throughout his childhood. When Bakugo gets a quirk explosion, um, he develops a huge ego to go with it. I mean, this dude would make Vegeta look tame. Um, as 14-year-old junior high students, both Bakugo and Midoriya are applying to UA High School, the best hero school in Japan. Luckily for Midoriya, he is taken in by this villainous sludge monster, and All Might shows up to bottle up the bad guy and save him. Midoriya latches onto him, as he flies away, forcing him to land on a roof and talk to Midoriya, who asks him if it is possible to become a hero without a quirk. All Might begins to like steam and bleed out of his mouth and he deflates to his normal, skinny, true looking self. He explains to Midoriya that he was injured in a fight five years ago. Further, he tells Midoriya what it's like to be a pro hero, what it means. And All Might answers Midoriya's question with a no. You need a quirk to be a hero. And then he leaves. Unfortunately, Midoriya's shenanigans caused All Might to drop the sledge monster, which Bakugo then encounters and is absorbed by. All the pro heroes are standing by and watching, feeling that their quirks are wrong for this battle, including All Might. Despite being powerless, though, the young quirkless Midoriya tries to save Kachan. Seeing this makes All Might take action to save them both. Later, All Might shows up to Midoriya to offer him his transferable quirk, known as One for All. This gets complicated when you find out the villain's name, and I even color-coded it to stay on track, and I still messed it up. <laughs> um, so the quirk is known as One for All, and he offers further Midoriya a chance to become his successor. Midoriya agrees. <laughs> And thus, All Might's aim to pass American Dream plan goes into action. Basically, they need to prepare Midoriya's scrawny body for All Might's power, one for all. Otherwise, his arms and legs will shoot off. Yikes. So Midoriya starts working out, cleaning up a beach, and changing his diet. Yay! The day before UA high school entrance exam, Midoriya eats a strand of All Might's hair. So to pass one for all, you have to want to pass it and you need some of the person's DNA. So we need both these things. In the entrance exam, the students are divided up and sent to fight robots that are worth between zero and three points. Midoriya jumps up and punches a giant robot and breaks both of his legs in his right arm and gets zero points. Way to go. <laughs> but he did it to save a girl who was also trying out Yuraka. Uraraka. I can't say her name. Oh my god. Um, he does end up getting 60 hero points, luckily, and he did just barely pass the written test, so he gets in to UA and he joins class 1A. Yay! <laughs> On the first day of class, Midoriya meets his homeroom teacher, Aizawa, known as Eraserhead. He takes the kids out for a quirk test, saying that whoever comes in last place will be expelled. Aizawa is so mean, and I love it. <laughs> Azora, um, Midoriya does come in last place, only using his quirk once to throw a ball using the tip of his finger, which he breaks. Note, he did throw it 0.1 meters further than Bakugo, which pisses Bakugo off. Aizawa does decide not to expel Midoriya, seeing that he does have some potential, though. Potential. Potential. In All Might's class, oh yeah, he's a teacher now. Yay! Um, he takes the kids to uh, a building and teams them up in pairs of two. 
and he sets them against each other with one pair being a villain and the other pair being heroes. First up is Midoriya and Uraraka going up against Bakugo and Aida. Bakugo and Midoriya basically just fight each other. What do you expect? Bakugo is friggin' pissed. He thinks Midoriya has been lying to him about not having a quirk and laughing behind his back for all of these years. He wants to defeat him to show them that he's better. Midoriya, meanwhile, wants to beat Bakugo because he knows Bakugo is better than him and he wants to make Deku, the name Bakugo used to tease him, the name of a hero. And Midoriya does win. Well, okay, technically Ida wins because he's a nerd who got like way too into character, but whatever, Midoriya won. So Midoriya screwed with Bakugo's sense of reality and seeing Bakugo so upset, Miss Midoriya, oh, Midoriya decides to tell him that he really did not have a quirk growing up and that he was recently given one, alluding to All Might and his secret, which very few people know about. Midoriya is made the class representative a few episodes later, but he passes on the power and the responsibility to Ida, um, who totally deserves it. With Momo being his second, even though she got more votes than him, and really, she should be in charge, but whatever. I do like those two. They're very fun characters. Next class! The kids take a bus trip to you. SJ, which does not stand for Universal Studios Japan, but is a training center to teach the kids how to rescue people. However, the League of Villains break into the facility and wreak havoc. Side note, Shigaraki, the creepy hand guy, has just the most insane levels of what the fuck terror I don't like. The main villains you need to know that we that we meet at this little arc is Tomoro Shigaraki. Kurugiri did not say that, right? Um, there are a bunch of henchmen and a Nomu, and a Nomu is a bioengineered anti-symbol of peace, basically a rage monster that feels nothing and is being controlled. All right, Aizawa does prove he is the baddest of asses. The bad guys separate the students thanks to Kurugiri's portal powers. I actually said that right. Um, and it's a long fight between the isolated students and the villains. Eventually, Ida is able to leave the facility and tell the faculty what's happening. All Might shows up after talking with Principal Nezu, a terrifying bear or dog or mouse? <laughs> Who knows? Um, after some difficulty and looking pretty bad for our hero, All Might is able to defeat the Nomu with a powerful Detroit Smash! The rest of the teachers eventually arrive with Principal Nezu. Snipe shoots Shigaraki uh, right before he touches Midoriya, who broke both his legs trying to save All Might. And he's just like, he's got a lot of spirit, but like he's kind of the worst at actually helping people because he just messes himself up. <laughs> Kurogiri gets himself and the injured Shigaraki out of there, but everyone is safe, which is yay! Well, okay, Aizawa is really messed up, but he lived, so... <laughs> Thus concludes season one of My Hero Academia and the beginning of Izuku Midoriya's journey to become the world's greatest hero. <laughs> Stay tuned for next season of My Hero Academia.